So the Heritage Henson Park change rooms and the AFLW OSCO change rooms are worlds apart because the OSCO change rooms are actually clean, they're refreshed, there's aircon, it's nice and brightly lit. I just had a look inside there and I can't wait to play in there because it just looks fresh and it makes you excited to come in and play because from the moment you step in it's already, you know, bright and airy and makes you pumped to go out and get on the field. Heritage change rooms are very quite old and very congested. Not much space to work with. There's only uh, like a small physio room. Obviously, your change rooms, which are like I said, very close together. And there's only like two toilet stalls for a whole team of athletes. The way that the Heritage change room compares to the new Osco change rooms is that there's a lot more space in the change room for us to do our pre-game match prep. There's a lot more space in the physio room which allows additional beds to be put up so it's a lot more time relevant and helps with game day timing and making sure that you know we're ready to go for the match. As a grassroots player I'm looking forward to building on the success that we had this year because this year our club went from not winning any games in the previous season to actually making the grand final this year so I think that's something we want to build on and maintain that momentum, make sure people do come back because, you know, it's exciting when you do win. It's great to see so many crowds, especially here at Henson Park. I think Sydney Swans have been holding the most crowds for AFLW side. So just to see so many supporters out here and supporting us female athletes is really inspiring to us as well. My hopes for women's sport in Australia is that we draw in massive crowds and people do get interested because myself, I'm someone who started playing AFL because I saw it on telly and I thought this was cool, I want to give this a shot and there was an opportunity for me to do that. So I'm hoping now with the AFLW being more accessible at good times, you know, Matilda's effect that people talk about that we start getting you know, tens of thousands of people coming down to AFLW games just like they would for an AFLM game. So that's my hopes and dreams for women's sports just we get those huge crowds and that momentum keeps growing and doesn't stop. So rapid deployment change rooms provide a pretty unique solution where you can build um, and design to suit the needs of both the venue and the end user and uh, have a change room ready in three to four months rather than a traditional build which takes maybe two to three years. And so these change rooms are really unique because they uh, will support our community users for the whole of 2024 and beyond, but also provide a solution for AFLW elite content. And the great thing about these change rooms is that once uh, our build at Henson Park is done, we will be able to take them around the state to service community football needs uh, wherever there might be a need for it. And I think the benefit that OSCO bring is that they're able to provide a really uh, unique solution that's affordable, but can be designed to meet the needs of the end user, whoever that may be, and then be able to be constructed really quickly. So with all those things considered, they're just a really attractive partner for us to work with, and we're really thankful for the work they've done here at Henson Park.